In our previous module, we tried to discuss the agitation system in fermentation design. But in this module and later modules, we will try to discuss that uh, the temperature control system. As concerned the temperature control system, temperature control system consists of two major parts. One part is temperature probe that sends the internal temperature of the fermenter. And then is the heat transfer system that actually control the temperature of uh, the fermentation vessel or a fermentation medium. We know that what is temperature? Temperature is actually you see that uh, the average kinetic energy exists in any system. So that is basically the type of energy. So before controlling the temperature, we should know about what factors that affect that can lead to the change in the temperature. So in case when we say that the temperature control system, mostly in the fermentation, when there is a disturbance, when there is a change in the temperature, so mostly a jacket is used for the controlling of the temperature. But that jacket is linked with the, the hot or a chilled water according to the need of the fermentation temperature. So that's why the jacket is just like a blanket or a shell around a fermentation vessel. So that is mostly used in a small scale fermenters. But in other case, you can see in this slide two types of uh, the systems. One is jacket type on this one. You see that uh, the jacket, the blue color shows the jacket around the fermentation vessel. In and out mean that hot and chilled water come outside and then that circulate around the vessel. But on the other hand, you can see that there is a round coil of the same hot and the chilled water. So these are the two strategies by which the temperature is controlled. But in these two cases, for the temperature control is use the chilled or the hot liquid that can be a water that can be an other water. So in some cases the blanket or a jacket is uh, just uh, having a dry heat. A direct heater, electric heater is used as a blanket. So that is used in mostly lab scale fermenters. So as an alternative to the jackets as we have seen in our previous slides, then there is a cooling coils. The major difference between the jacket and the cooling coil is that when we use the jacket, then there is a less surface area. So when you use the coil, there is a maximum area we can use for the mass transfer, for using the temperature transfer from either from the vessel to that, either from the liquid to the fermentation medium. This is basically one part that how we can control the temperature. As concerned the probe, in most of the fermenters, the temperature probe is PT100 is mostly used. What is PT100? We will talk about in later when we talk about the design of the probes. So the PT100 is mostly the probe that is mostly used to sense the temperature inside the fermentation vessel. 